I mean, don't forget, I've seen you since you've been like, you know, that big. So, and, and you know, and just to see the leaps and bounds of progress, it's pretty cool. So essentially it's like, oh, I must be a pretty great dad because look at my son, you know? <laughs> Do you feel like you're still fulfilling things as a father? Uh, what? Do you feel like as a father, you're still fulfilling things? With you, I hardly talk to you or Ross. I mean, Brad, I, I do talk to him more occasionally. Do you remember the disagreements that we had when I was in high school, though, after Mom passed away? And Absolutely. how difficult things were for us? Yes. And do you think that you and I have changed substantially from those arguments that we've had? Well, I, I, I didn't have the arguments. You did. But do you understand my frustration at that point? No. How can I understand your frustration? I have no idea what it's like to you. I have no idea what it's like to lose their mom. Do you think you stepped in uh, full right after mom passed away to, to be my father, though? Absolutely. You don't understand why I was angry at you in those times? No. I mean, I, I worked my ass off to get you through school. You were there. Financially, you were supportive. Right. I guess my biggest gripe with everything is when mom passed away, I was a 15-year-old, my most vulnerable state in my life, and my father, my brothers, my sister, like none of us came together and like came into like a moment of solidarity and be like, hey, like this sucks for all of us. Like let's be with each other and like let's build off of this. There was never that moment. Well, you're you're correct. And I was I was angry. I mean I was really angry quite at angry. what? And mom dying. We're all, all angry. Right, okay, okay. I remember the exact moment. Tuesday morning, 6 a.m. My TV was off. I was on the left side. I remember every single thing about that moment. You walked into my room, you sat on my bed, and you put your hand on my shoulder, and you said, Dean, mom died 30 minutes ago. I remember Obviously, that exact moment. I had to moment. deal with another Literally, level, which I don't even want to get into at this point. Please, I would love for you to, I've never gotten into you with, into at that point. That I've, we're both adults at this point. Dad, I'm 26 years old. I am an adult, and I can understand. <laughs> okay, well, it was, it was horrible watching your mother die. Watch her stop eating. Watch her shrivel just to see her get smaller and smaller and smaller. And all my life, I did everything I could do to try to make the best life for the family. That was what, that was what I did. I mean... And then your mom stayed home and, and created the, the best family life that was possible. Created a good one. So, right, she did. It was an amazing thing. That's why I was angry, because it ended. It was over. It was gone. I don't know. Like, it's hard for you to even talk about, but, like... Right. I didn't love you. Is that what you're trying no, to say? No, get the I out of here. I didn't feel loved by your father. Is that what you're saying? It wasn't as maternal as it maybe you in hindsight needed to be. In the because sense I, like... I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to do anything. I was just like, I, I had never been a mom. I never had knew how to cook. I, all I knew how to do was go out and make money. Right. But there's still like a lot of moments where I, like, I personally felt abandoned. If you really feel that way, and if you really think that was my purpose, then there's really no need to carry this conversation. I mean, really. Sure. Because in my teaching, we believe the other person is you. So whatever you think of me is really of what you think of yourself. Yep. I was quite angry at my dad, but my dad took off. I never saw the son of a bitch. Dad, I'm trying to work through this with you, but you're allowing, you're not allowing me to. Like, you're being stubborn to the point where you're not allowing us to work through what it. What is there to work through, Dean? I'm here honoring you. I've come and I've opened my house up, and I and I certainly welcome the whole idea of, of whatever it is that you, you want to do, and I'm certainly... I, I... And I get that, and I appreciate you opening your house into accepting mine and Rachel's experience right now, but, like, you... <laughs> You're closing yourself off, and it's like it's a it's it's disallowing us to have a relationship. Like, but you, when you're coming out and making such such bold statements that I didn't care, that I wasn't there, that you've admitted to not being there. Absolutely. So how's that a bold statement when it's true? Well, fine, because you're still living there. Obviously, you still got one foot stuck in the past. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I I, I give up. My good blessings, Dean. And I do wish you the best here, even if you thought I love you there. I love you regardless. Well, whatever. <laughs>